Hello everyone. So today let us uh, learn a really nice way to copy information from the epic to a subtask and uh, this video is actually in response to a question that I received uh, from someone and uh, I thought I'll probably make a video on this because first of all this is interesting and uh, I believe it can be really useful for a lot of people and uh, I already have a rule that is actually doing something uh, to transfer the information from epic to a subtask and this is of course uh, uh, not just one level but two levels and I believe you can do something similar when you have more than one level but let us learn how to do it today. So the requirement is that you may have an epic which in my case is this one called launch android app and uh, we have this uh, launch android app which is the summary of the issue and at the same time when you're working with epics i'm sure you know about uh, epic name so we do have this epic name so two fields epic name which is launch android app by march 2022 and uh, we have uh, the summary so the requirement is that whenever the subtask is created under any of these stories for, for example right now we have these two stories which is story number one and story number two so let us open story number one and uh, if you if you look at story number one you can have a multiple subtask i mean because that is how stories work because people want to break up their bigger stories i mean epics are nothing but big stories but when it comes to actual implementation usually you want to break up your stories into smaller subtasks so the requirement is that whenever a new subtask is uh, created we want to copy this epic name and epic uh, summary now they, they, they i mean this is something that you might not need to do or you are probably fine without this automation but uh, a good example would be that maybe you are reporting based on subtask maybe you are using subtask quite a lot and you want to basically make sure that on the subtask you have this epic level information so i mean epic name or whatever field that you want to copy and i'm sure there are so many other other use cases where uh, this can be useful so let us create a new subtask and uh, i will pr probably you know enter this name here like this is a subtask and if i click on the subtask let us see if uh, something happens and uh, so far nothing yet but let me refresh i'll probably share the rule as well i mean of course like always I'll, I'll share the rule i'll show you how this rule works but right now the rule didn't work because the rule is probably oh yes so the rule worked so this is uh, the comment like epic from parent launch android app so this has actually copied the um the the, the what epic name no not epic name but epic summary and it is it, it is basically nothing but uh, it, it has added it to the actual uh, comment but it can be maybe used in a text field for example i mean why not we can do that so let us let us see let us uh, open a separate tab and uh, what we'll do we'll uh, take a look at the rule first rule is of course you know the good the good thing about automation rules is that uh, they are not really complicated i mean you can easily modify them create them i mean it is not like you're explaining someone how to write code it is all about doing things wonderful things on the ui and the rule is of course working so let me just uh, find the rule copy fields from epic yep this is the one so few things first of all this rule is only applicable on this on a single project but epics can have uh, issues from multiple projects so make sure your rule is uh, configured with the right uh, scope now the main thing is that you know we have to trigger this trigger is issue created but we don't really want to trigger this on each and every um we don't really want to do anything when a normal issue is created so what you can do is you can actually um add a condition that only when the issue type is equal to subtask or maybe you have more than one one subtask only then uh, um, run this and before that i also want to show uh, a really nice trick i mean it's not a trick i think once you know something it is not really a trick anymore but uh, the thing is what we need to do I, I'll, I'll come back to this variable in a, in a second but uh, when this condition is true when the issue type is actually 
indeed sub task you want to of course then few things now the main thing that we want to do here is that we want to find out the parent of the sub task and you can actually do that very easily using this uh, jql like uh, key is equal to basically we are doing here uh, something like this i mean branch issues and we want to focus on the uh, jql now in the key of course we have to pass in the issue key now the, now the good thing about uh, this is where smart values come into picture and i have covered this multiple times in the past that if you want to learn how automation rules work if you want to get the most out of your automation rules you have to basically uh, use smart values and you have to basically uh, understand them really well i mean of course you know you can't really do it do everything in one day but uh, you know make sure you read the documentation make sure you do your research uh, if you're trying to do some wonderful automation so using the smart value issue dot parent i mean it is obvious quite it's quite obvious right that issue dot parent is of course the parent of the subtask which we know that uh, in this case it is uh, this particular issue which is the story story one and uh, when you when when you are using this issue dot parent dot epic link so usually uh, you have this epic link that will actually take you to the parent so again uh, the moment you do this issue dot parent dot epic link you are basically uh, Go, you're basically back to the epic and that is all you need and uh, when you're back to the epic all you need to do i mean uh, when this particular jql runs it will probably run only for one issue because you just have one epic now what what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to fetch the uh, epic name and uh, also the epic summary right this is what we are adding in the log and if you look at the log here i'll show you the log because we just ran this rule and in the log you will see both the epic uh, summary and the epic uh, name and that is it so you know so, so you now have these two values and what we can do now is we can uh, uh, then create a variable now the, the the thing with variable is that variable scopes are within the loop you know on, on the same uh, block that you're working on and uh, uh, what you can also do is you can actually if you have some trouble with the val variable values not getting populated properly try to declare the variable in uh, like on the very top and uh, i just need to take a look at my phone so uh, what we need to do is we just need to make sure that uh, the variable is declared with something like null null value and once once this happens you can actually make sure that uh, you have uh, this variable declared on top and then uh, later on you can actually use this same variable like you know epic name and then uh, assign it a like a summary whatever so this uh, this is actually not really the uh, correct thing to do here because i want uh, my epic uh, name so i can do that let us do it like this epic name and i'll probably create one more variable here a uh, new action and a variable and uh, what i will do here is i will uh, try to create epic summary and uh, i will probably assign this null value and when we are back to the uh, same uh, block where the jql is uh, run i'll add one more component and i'll again do the same thing create a, a variable and uh, and we'll do something like epic summary and uh, we'll assign it issue dot issue dot uh, um, epic summary or issue dot uh, summary i guess i mean we don't really need uh, epic summary because i mean uh, the the correct smart value is uh, issue dot summary and issue dot epic name that is that is uh, what we need to do and that is it and once we take a look at uh, the uh these two variables so first variable is epic name which is going to store the epic name and then we have uh, epic summary and uh, once you're outside this uh, jql or uh, you know once you are basically uh I, I mean the thing is that you need to now store now you have the variables with you now you can do whatever you want with it now you can actually add a comment so epic from parent is this one epic uh, name from parent and uh we can also write here uh, epic uh, summary 
and uh, that is it now this is of course fine what i also want to do is i want to also uh, make sure that uh, i am also updating the uh, i am also updating the uh, uh, the the fields so let let us also use one of the field maybe l maybe take a look at the subtask and when you go to the subtask maybe you have a field here that you want to update so i may have this field called text field let, let us update text field and for doing that i can add a component and i can add a new action edit field edit issue and uh, we can uh, pick up the value here text field and uh, we can actually use the smart value i believe we should be able to uh, use the smart value so let us use the smart value which is uh, epic name i think this should be fine and let us run the rule now and see if uh, it works i'll open the audit log and uh, i'll go back to the story and i'll create a story so let us create a new story here create a subtask this is uh, another subtask and uh, create and uh, let us let us take a look let us take a look at the rule the rule is probably now running i hope it works success i like this green success success message it looks really good and uh, it also says that the issue edited successfully so let us refresh this this is something you know a bit weird i'm uh, not really weird but uh, I, th I think it is understandable on cloud you have to refresh the uh, the page okay so few things so first of all epic summary from parent is updated and uh, we also have the text field and what i all what i actually want to do is instead of just updating a text field let me uh, let me use the text do we have a uh, text area or something like that i think uh, or maybe it is fine because we just have the you know epic name which is coming from the uh coming from the actual epic so this is of course a very simple and uh, straightforward i mean not really it's not really massively simple but uh, uh, one thing that you can also see if uh, this variable declaration on top if the rule works without it so let me just remove it let us see i think it might work but sometimes because it depends on the scope of the block let us remove this and uh, and uh, let us see if this works again so i'll also create one more uh, subtask to test if uh, this is uh, if my assumption is correct i think it might work but I have faced issues, so subtask, and uh, let us go to the issue, and also refresh. Okay, in progress, success, and uh, yeah, I think it worked. So let us take a look at the issue. I think this 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 actually worked because uh, maybe the scope is correct. Oh no, I I don't think it worked. So yes, so that is what I was talking about. So we do have the, I mean, the log is working because uh, within this loop, there is a scope. <laughs> I mean, the, the uh, values are valid, but the moment you, because we are declaring the variable here within this JQL, but the variable should have been declared outside the uh, loop for this to work. So this is uh, again, uh, if again, this might not be, I mean, if you're trying to do something similar with, vari with variables and you're trying to struggle, if you're struggling with this, uh, smart value thing this is the thing that you need to do you have to declare the variables here um, so let, let me do it again so let us create a variable and uh, again uh, you don't really have to worry about what you are uh, declaring on top i mean because this will be anyways overwritten but the main thing here the main thing is that you have to make sure the variable exists uh, and when you when you basically create the variable again, it is basically going to use the same one above. So yeah, I mean, I I learned it uh, one day, and uh, I actually wanted to share it with all of you because I like sharing. Sharing is good. You should also do it. So let me declare these two variables, and uh, before I end the video, I will make sure that this rule works, and uh, let us do it. Let us, one, let, let us create one more rule and the video is getting a bit lengthy but I'm, I'm just you know trying to share and I, I'm sure it will you will appreciate this right 
I don't care about the video length. It could be a five minute video or a 15 minute video as long as uh, we are learning something. So let us create a new subtask. And if you go to this, go to this subtask, I'll also you know refresh the log, audit log. And uh, yeah, I think it worked. So let us take a look at the issue and it should work. Okay, so I can see the text field here, okay, and I can see the comment. Perfect. So this is great. And that is all. That is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.